we are dealing with an in intentional disregard and dehumanization of specifically black people that we do not deem as South Africans. So we must call it by its proper name. It's Afrophobic violence. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, she's absolutely correct uh, in, in, in her statement. But, uh, but we have to say, though, uh, uh, that where we are actually in this point with the, with the Chidima issue, it, it's definitely Afrophobia. I absolutely agree with that. But I think it's actually raising a very important issue in South Africa now, which is uh, what does it actually mean to be South African? Because I think the biggest challenge that South Africa has had uh, in the 30 years uh, uh, since we found our freedom is actually articulating what it means to be South African. Because if you look at the comments uh, in, in the social media, so it is perhaps a mix of citizenship, uh, which is Afrophobia in one part. And then on the other part, it's actually an issue about identity. Because people are saying, we cannot have somebody who doesn't speak our language, doesn't embrace our culture, doesn't uh, uh, tell our story, represent us. I'm not sure how correct they are with that. I'm not sure what, what level of, of detail or information they have on her if she doesn't embody all those. But, but it does bring to fore the biggest issue that we face as a country. Because I don't know what it means to be South African. Yeah, 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 come on, John. Back again with it, beautiful people, man. Yeah, it's been a... It's been a hectic couple of weeks, man. Couple of, of, of days or, or weeks. I don't know if it's been weeks. But this whole um, Chidima issue has been raising a lot, of, a lot of questions about, you know, immigration in South Africa, you know. Then they came out these 95 immigrants, you know, that were, that were arrested, you know, in Pumalang, you know, they were building a military camp, you know, and this raises a whole lot of questions about foreigners in South Africa. And, and do other foreigners deserve to be in South Africa freely, you know, or should they just be sent to prison, you know, and if not, you know, sent to prison and, you know, deported, you know, to, to their respective countries, you know. Or taken to a deportation zone so they can be you know well taken into their own country so they can you know benefit their own countries you know and you know work towards benefiting their own countries because they're not benefiting anybody in south africa the unemployment rate is quite high it's you know 40 percent is quite high so clearly they, there's no foreigner that's gonna benefit you know any south african you know um so they should just you know um, get out and this whole thing of branding south africans that's you know uh talking about these issues as afrophobic or xenophobic this has to stop from the media you know this this whole media thing that protecting foreigners let's just listen let's just have a listen to what uh you know i, I think it's adichinus um alleged father had to say about this uh adichinus identity origin i'm a nigerian and my wife is a south african Oh, all right. And I've lived in South Africa as well. I've, I spent 10 years in South Africa. And do you have kids in South Africa? Yes, I do. And um, I suppose they are South African citizens. <laughs> exactly. That all the celebrities, you know, came out in defense of Adichino, you know, you know, relics, you know. I'm not going to say celebrities. I'm just going to say the relics, you know, the dinosaurs of our day and age you know your pale tussies your lerato khanyakos your somizis and even my idol man dj spo i was like what and you know it's sad you know to see you know people will let's just have a listen to what these people have to say people we we, we used to look up to you know like dj spo man ah it's just just let's just a little bit listen you know if this girl i don't even know her name right now my bad like i just woke up if this girl went to the olympics representing south africa and she won gold medal what would you guys be saying ah she's nigerian she must take that medal to nigeria don't lie yeah don't scam don't lie you would say nigeria can also have a stake and claim say ah our genetics are serving but We'd also say as South Africans, you know what? We contributed to this greatness. We raised this greatness because it grew up right here on our soil, eating our food, her food as well at this point, drinking this water that we are serving here in South Africa and the education we are serving. She's South African! Leave her! Just honest from the get-go. I would have removed myself. 
myself from them because it's my reputation. I would have removed myself from the pageant because I speak about, now I'm all about morals and ethics and principles. There's, there's over a million illegal immigrants in this country destroying the country. I wouldn't be part of a, an organization that is dishonest. But now my opinion, and I say it because I don't want to go into depth about this. My reputation could be on the line if it's not true. Her mom is not this. Her mom is this. All the necessary requirements were met. What are we still fighting for? And I was a bit disappointed with the minister yesterday. Let me tell As you just said for yourself, man, these people are crazy, man. They, they said all of these things, you know, but they scared. But now they're going to come out into to say, Oh, we are sorry. We were not aware. We were just thinking we had that her mother was. Eh. Now it's going to be that defense. Now it's going to be that defense now. We are sorry. We didn't know. Eh, we were going off the information that her mother was. Eh. It's going to be that defense now. You know, and we were branded as xenophobic for being patriotic South Africans, being branded as xenophobic, being uh, called all types of hate speech for being uh, South African citizens. And this Malema EFF thing, ah, this EFF thing, EFF is not going to go anywhere if Malema continues being the president. You know, they need like friendship, I won't be sending you there, man. And this thing of open borders police, that thing needs to be scrapped from their whatever, their constitution, whatever, needs to be scrapped get rid of that thing because this thing of open borders is gonna cause a lot of problems this country is gonna go into anarchy you know civil unrest is gonna be uh, a true fate and you know when you see they, they're gonna be popping those tummies those big tummies they're gonna be popping them the youth i'm telling you this they're gonna be running all over your 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 your, 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 your big tummies your fat stomachs they're gonna be running all over them if you don't do anything to counteract this illegal immigration thing that's going on in South Africa, we're having a whole lot of Im illegal immigrants in the country that are undocumented. They're just waltzing into the country, waltzing in, you know, just doing a waltz when they're going into the country, you know, just it's, it's crazy. Then they have the nerve to say, you know, beast, uh, you know, beast in Tawarira. And all those, all those others, the DS ministers, you know. But we all know they're documented. You know, they can show you that documentation and you're going to be like, okay, they're truly South African citizens. But we know they're not born in South Africa or, or things like that. They're not born in South Africa. But we can clearly show their documentation. And this, they come out with the, the statement, you know, saying they, this, this thing was committed, you know. Um, sorry about that. They say this thing was committed fraudulently you know they they say she cannot be charged since um she was young in 2001 when her mother committed this fraud and they're saying um you know they, they, there's a an innocent you know mother who couldn't register her own child you know because of adichina's mother's doing you know in the fraudulent activities committed by the person who was enrolling her into the system said you see this kind of things in cutting edge you know every day where yeah, they, they, there's someone who's going to register for an id for 10 years they don't have an id they, they don't have an identity document they can't access an identity document when there's a south african when there's the there's, there's, there's this chidin and chidin and this nigerian girl nigerian to the core you know nigerian to the core is taking away south african opportunities with fraudulent activities so somebody has needs to roll has needs to roll i like what the dairy ministers are doing i'd like it i like it a lot i like it a whole lot you know they should continue but i i'm not gonna vote for the da anyways but they should continue with what they're doing it's it's uh, it's helpful you know I like them you know yeah so i'm just gonna play a clip from umale you know talking about how to do it and to do not you know south african uh citizens but the AFF had the nerve to come out and defend this Chidim. Just the, the, the name alone says it all. Chidim. They had the nerve to defend Chidim, but they couldn't defend Tutu Zile and Tutu Zang. They had to bash them. But it's a game of politics anyway. Um, so hit the like and subscribe button for more content like this. It's not a South African proper.
What do you mean? Zani, his mother is Kate, and Kate was Zuma's wife who committed suicide. They are born Mozambican, Dudu Zani and Dudu Zile. They can't speak Zulu, those two kids. They can't yeah, speak so. any South African Venek. So they are from Mozambique. They stayed in Swaziland, they stayed in Zimbabwe, then they came to reside here with their father in South Africa. So for Dudu Zani to leave a country, it's very easy because they don't have a history of settling in one place.